Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more of the BSL 15 Asian Championships. We have here a match in the losers bracket. This is the first round of the loser bracket, and me who's in it, which is absolutely insane. You know, this guy, considered by most people to be the best non-Korean player, uh, just such a strong Terran. The winner of the last two BSLs got knocked down into the loser bracket by Dugu, the rising star in China uh, for Zerg with some very aggressive plays. So, kind of a big deal. And here's the thing. This first round of the loser bracket is best of one. So, anything can happen, man. He's going up once again against LCYDH. We saw a couple of amazing games out of uh, LCYDH uh, against Mihu in the group stage. Like, he really... It, honestly, it felt like he was playing to Mihu's level for good portions of the game. And then there was, like, obviously some things went wrong and, and Mihu was able to capitalize and win. But... Definitely a very, very strong Protoss player. So I'm excited for this, but also a little bit nervous, right? You really don't want to see Mihu going out in this tournament early. Like, he's he's the favorite to win BSL 15 overall against the whole world. Uh, but to be in this loser bracket, best of one, against a Protoss that could have possibly beaten him in the, in the group stage. Yeah, it's dangerous. So, uh, the map is Fighting Spirit. Uh, a very, 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 very old map. And I guess what I'm wondering here is how are we going to see Mihu play it? I almost feel like you should just play aggressively here as Terran uh, against Protoss. It's, it, it can be really difficult to get into a big macro game here. Like, you... you <laughs> The, the third base slash fourth base situation is a little bit hard to defend. You know, whether your opponent is just sitting there uh, at the top of the ramp or they're utilizing speed shuttles or they're going for recalls. Any of those things can be very difficult to deal with. Uh, and the map is rather small. Also, this bridge can pose a big problem. Getting out over this bridge against a gigantic arc of units can be really, really tough. But, of course, the same can be said on the other side. If Mihu were to do something a little bit aggressive... Like, let's say he does a five factory timing push. He can make that same sort of arc and push in nice and slow, right? And it is going to be very hard to break out of. So we'll see how this one goes down. Mihu's scouting LC first. And he does see the Zealot, so that's kind of some nice scouting intel. He has the one Marine out in the front. LC doesn't know where he's at right now. So the probe scouting to the south, the Zealot going over there to the east. Uh, and is going to be able to find that pretty quickly. Now, the bunker is being started, and we don't actually have uh, a third deep or anything like that. Oh, never mind. I thought that this uh, Zalt was going to go to the top right, but instead it's going to the bottom right. So that's actually pretty lucky for Mihu. Uh, he is going to get scouted a lot later. He's going to have three Marines in the bunker. You don't want to run a Zalt by that, whereas, you know, if the SCV is still building the bunker and there's two Marines, the Zalt can go up and, you know, have some value. But here he's just going to see it, and the Zot is pretty worthless. Now, range is on the way, as well as a Dragoon. Third pylon, so kind of an old-school type of build here. You don't see many uh, high-end players go for three pylon as their opener. That's kind of the old-school, get the Nexus around four minutes, uh, get three ranged Dragoons out, and then you kind of have this excellent fighting force. But runs up with that Dragoon, does not see a command center. So he might be wondering about that. Looks like this SCV trying to get away from Mihu. He's looking to go back in for another scout. And he has 60 health, so he's going to be able to see the timing of the Nexus. Now, see, this is like 408. No Nexus yet. Okay, he sees the Nexus go down. But honestly, you have to go engineering pay here. Uh, because that Nexus is that late, you don't know for sure. Like, he could have canceled range and gone Citadel. You just don't know. And you see Mihu, of course, is already on top of that. He knows that this is a situation that could be very dangerous. Of course, us looking at it here, it's just, it's simply not. It's just a very slow meta, a nexus for the current metagame. So Mihu going to have his expansion up with very good timing. About the same time as his opponent. Up goes the turret immediately. And he does have a seed chink on the way. This vulture still out and scouting around. It looks like he's bringing it back. And the reason he's bringing this back, I believe, is just in case it is DT. You Three Marines in a bunker don't actually stop DTs from walking in. 
A lot of times you'll see pros add an additional Marine, get four Marines in there, bring units down as well. But with this setup, DTs will never, ever, ever get past. Like you try to pop two DTs past there, it's me who's gonna stop it easily. So second factory coming up. Let's take a look over at LC. It's added a second gateway going Robo as well. That's, that's pretty non-committal. We don't know, is that gonna be Reaver? Is that gonna be Observer? Really could be either one. Mihu, of course, no real way to scout what's going on here. Just producing siege tanks at the moment. Getting that second factory as mentioned. Little pylon set here, just to scout for any possible incoming dropships. And I mean, pretty pretty normal openings, right? Like nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. Like, yeah, this one is a little bit slow. This one's defensive. That's what happens, right? Protoss wants to expand slowly, you kind of get defensive, but hey, they expanded slowly, so I guess it's okay. No turrets or anything going up to the main base. Second add-on, okay, so yeah, and he's throwing a turret down as well. So with the second add-on, generally if you see two add-ons early on, this is going to be specifically uh, to make a lot of siege tanks. And if you're going to make a lot of siege tanks after, after a factory expansion, Normally, it will turn into a four or five factory attack. Uh, it's hard to imagine Mihu doing anything else. And like I mentioned, this this might be a map where he wants to play aggressive anyways. Uh, the map does not feel super good for just doing, like, armory builds. So four tanks just kind of chilling here. Nice arc of goons here for LC. He's added a third gate as well. So three gateway observer. And I think it's time for Mihu to start adding some uh, more factories here. His siege mode is almost done. He's completely safe with his turrets and his tanks. A little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit laid back this game. Citadel coming up. Okay, so this should go into Arbiter. Like he'll probably go third Nexus before he gets all the way to Arbiter tech. Uh, but this, is, that is what we should be seeing here. So this is kind of like the most passive build that you can think of for LC. It's not even that fast of an Arbiter. Like a two-base Arbiter almost has more potential for damage. Anyways, uh, we see three factories coming up. Yeah, so Mihu is gonna end up going for a five factory play. I think it's actually an excellent choice for this situation. Might be a little bit nerve wracking just because he is in the loser bracket. You screw up this push, you're out of the tournament. I think, like the thing is Mihu, I, you know, I watch a lot of Mihu games. Obviously, you guys know that because I end up casting a lot of them, but I watch some uh, outside of the, the casting as well. And one thing I've really noticed about Mihu is builds like this he's extra good with because he almost never takes a poor engagement, which is one of the hardest things to do with Terran. Uh, you know, in every matchup, Terran's units are slower than their opponents, so you can't actually retreat. Uh, every attack you do has to be done right. So that is, I think, a big part of why Mihu is so strong. And I think that we'll likely see it here, uh, just how strong he is with his his engagements, right? Like the way he moves his army out, the way he moves his vultures around, where he lays his mines, things like that. Now Templar Archives coming up. No Stargate yet. Oh, this might turn into just Psystorm, like Gateway Man with Psystorm. Yeah, it is. Look at that, seven gate, eight gates. Of course, third Nexus we see is going up as well, but eight gate with Psy Storm, and he does have a shuttle, but it's not a speed shuttle, right? So this is a brawling build that we see. Okay, so again, gateway man, lots of gateways, lots of gateway units, and then Psy Storm in a slow shuttle. With a slow shuttle, you can't really do Psy Storm drops. They're pretty easy to stop. Uh, it doesn't come in quickly enough. You can't really get the storms off. Uh, because of that, right? Like, you're not going to get much out of the shuttle if it does get in. So he is looking for Mihu, Mihu to attack into him, but Mihu's attacking right before he has Psystorm. Psystorm's like a third of the way done. Legs are not done either, so this is the ultimate point of weakness for LC. Now, leapfrogging forward, building some turrets as well. Very, very, very strong moves here. Goes back to pick, pick up his High Templars, but is there going to be anything to storm? Like, when you've got this kind of like slower push coming from uh, Mihu, 
He's leapfrogging. He's not clumping too many tanks here together. This is a lot of Dragoons. Zealots, uh, not that many yet. He is starting to rally quite a few more out of here. Doesn't quite have those legs yet either. Ooh, he doesn't want to be taking extra free hits here. Really, really important. Look at this. Building depots on the battlefield. What? See, this is... This is Mihu, man. This is what he is so strong at. Look at the way he's setting up here. How do you attack into this with mostly gateway units? Just beautiful placement. The, the depots are going to make this so hard. He's got some turrets. I would love to see another turret here. But here we go. Psystorm is done. Legs are done. And here comes LC. Going to drop out these high templars. Okay, one storm goes down. Okay, so LC has killed almost nothing. Literally. He's killed like a siege tank and some vultures. Mihu slaughters him. My god. LC, a strong player, but going to be eliminated. Almost every loss he had in this tournament to Mihu. <laughs> GG.